What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is a new cigar that was just released. It is released by General, uh, and it was in collaboration with uh, AJ Fernandez. It's the Hoya La Armistad. Now, this is a Nicaraguan uh, rolled cigar. The wrapper is Ecuadorian. The binder and filler are both Nicaraguan. Uh, but the filler does come from four different uh, fields or tobacco farms in Nicaragua, so it is a, a blended. Now this size is the Toro, a 6x50. It's roughly seven, seven seventy-five to $8 per stick, uh, and they do have some other sizes. There is a Robusto and also a, a Gigantic, which is a 6x60. But good looking cigar. You know, I'm a big fan of AJ Fernandez and I do like the Hoya brand. Uh, so definitely looks good. It's a chocolate uh, brown wrapper. Uh, very tight seams, minimal veins, uh, well packed. It's just slightly spongy to the touch. It's not too firm but not too loose. Uh, it does look like it's a double cap. Uh, I could be wrong but to me it looks like a double cap. And we're getting sweet hay, a little sweet cocoa off the foot, and pretty much not a lot of different flavors that I'm noticing, but let's go ahead and cut it up and get into the pre-draw. The draw is really good, it's real loose. Oh, just perfect draw. Getting a little bit of the sweet grass or hay flavor. A slight uh, fruitiness, like a dried fruit, but uh, very interesting. But again, let's go ahead and light it up and we'll get we'll back with our first third. Welcome back, everybody, for the first third of our review of the Hoya uh, La Amistad. If I'm saying it right, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I do know that it's Spanish, which means friendship, uh, and this was also, like I said, collaboration with AJ Fernandez. Now, as we said earlier, the uh, filler is from four different uh, regions of tobacco growing in Nicaragua, uh, one of them being AJ Fernandez's uh, fields themselves. Uh, but with the four different regions, uh, you're definitely going to sense it's going to be a really full flavored cigar. And again, full flavor does not mean full nicotine. Uh, there's a difference between strength and flavor. So if you're kind of confused on that, I know sometimes people ask me on my comments, well, I thought you said it was full flavored. It wasn't very strong nicotine wise. Well, it's not necessarily strength wise but flavor meaning real rich flavors. Uh, but with that, there's going to be a lot of spiciness and uh, some sweetness. So really well balanced of all the tobaccos that were available that are available in Nicaragua. Uh, and so far in the first third, what I'm getting is a little bit of a black pepper on the back of the tongue and a little bit of sweetness coming off of the retro hell and off of the smoke as, uh, as it's exhaled. Now the aroma of the cigar is mainly getting a little bit of coffee uh, and more so of like a, a cedar, but it's a phenomenal cigar. It's one of these that I just picked up from uh, Stag Tobacconist of Metro Center in Phoenix. It was recommended to me by Jeff, the manager there, he indicated they just got it. I know it's a fairly new release, so if you haven't seen it, I'd definitely take a look for it. I think it was released back in... Uh, in the July, 1st of August, I'm not sure. I know it was at the trade show, uh, but it might have been something released after that. But it is now available, so check it out. If you're looking for places, uh, check out your local tobacconist. Also, check out some of the online websites. They might have it, but really phenomenal cigar. If you like the Hoya brand, or you're an AJ Fernandez fan, either way, it's a phenomenal stick. And uh, we'll be back with our second third. Welcome back, everybody, for the second third of our review of the Hoya uh, by Amistad. 
uh, with collaboration of AJ Fernandez. In the second third, we're getting a little more of the black pepper profile. It's more as, as you take in a puff and you let it out, it sits on the back of the palate, a little more kick. Uh, the flavor is uh, really great. The strength wise, we're starting to hit a medium to a full flavored cigar. Definitely uh, something that keeps you on your toes. Um, very good. Man, I can tell you, you can look at it, there's really no, um, the burn's almost perfect, and there is no construction issues whatsoever, which I always dig. I always love having something where I don't have to sit and worry about it. Uh, but man, it is a, uh, definitely starting to kick up on that nicotine a little bit, more full strength. Uh, something I would suggest if you're going to smoke this would be uh, an after dinner or after you eat a meal or something. If you're not a um, person who smokes a lot of full flavored cigars or real medium to full cigars, uh, not something you'd start the morning out with. Uh, I know some might be brave enough, and I know some of the, some guys I know, and some ladies, they like to have this type of stick with their coffee in the morning. Not something for me to start the day out with, but it is a end of the day or afternoon smoke. Uh, but man, flavor is phenomenal. We're getting, like I said, the black pepper. We had a little bit of citrus between the second and first third. Look at that's kind of fading off. But all in all, man, this is a great stick. And I'll smoke it down and be back with our final third. Welcome back, everybody, for the final third of our review today of the Hoya, the Armistad, in conjunction with AJ Fernandez. And the final third, we're getting more of a full flavored cigar. Or, I mean, full strength cigar. Very much uh, something if you're not used to smoking those, this might catch you off guard. But as I said earlier, this might be something you want to smoke after you eat. Uh, but if you like uh, the full strength cigars, this might be something you like to smoke all the time. It's definitely a great cigar. I'm starting to notice a little more of that uh, black pepper on the back on the finish. But we're getting a lot more of like a spice. Uh, and not uh, black pepper spice, but like a uh, cinnamon and even possibly a little bit of clove flavor in there that I'm noticing, getting that cedar off the smoke. And man, it's a fun fabulous cigar. As I said, it had no really construction problems. Uh, the burn is almost razor sharp. Uh, it, it, the ash is flaky, so make sure you're close to an ashtray because it will get all over the place. But other than that, it is a fabulous cigar. Something I would recommend having in the humidor, or even uh, you know trying to buy a whole box. I'm not sure if that's your thing, but I would suggest try it. If you're a fan of AJ Fernandez and you're a fan of Nicaraguan tobaccos, then this is definitely a stick for you. So if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, always leave your comments. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars and Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.